Hey, Coach, super excited you found us on YouTube. Uh, make sure that you watch and uh, leave some comments below if you have any questions on anything in the video. That's the first thing. Second thing is make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you want updates, uh, you're obviously here because you're a basketball coach, so subscribe down below. It. We would really appreciate that. And the third thing is if you're looking for resources, you're looking to become a better basketball coach, click up above or down below, teachhoops.com. It is a vast resource to help you become a better basketball coach. I'm here to help. I just got done answering about 25 emails. So go check it out. I think it will be a great resource for you. 14-day free trial. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. So we'll go from a four-man into this three-man passing drill. Now, this one I can't really tell you. I've seen this and taken this from too many people. Um, Jody Conrad down in Texas, I know, ran it. So this one was a lot of fun. Coach, you're going to step right in, and you can hold off on this one. Let's get you stepping in. Great. We go from that three-man into what I like to call a five-man weave. Now, if you've got 15 players, 16 players, this is great because it gets everybody involved and everybody runs the floor. And it gets everybody a touch of the ball. So I love this drill just for the simple fact that nobody stands around. Then they've all got to hustle, because the hustling part, I think, is important. If you do that in practice, my purpose every day with practice is to make practice more difficult than the game. If practice is more difficult than the game, then your game should be fairly successful, if you can do it. First 30 minutes, this is all running, and this is all of our drills. So we try to get it up and down for 30 minutes on the clock, take a couple of free throws, get a drink, now let's get, now let's start practice. So this is all our conditioning stuff beforehand. Five man weave is really just what it says. There's gonna be five touches. Everybody's moving forward. We'll walk through this nice and slow so we can get this. Everybody's coming up. Coach gets the ball first. Great, go behind the outside man. Pass to him. Go behind the outside man. Keep on going. Great, pass to the next one. All right, hit him. Now, hold it right there. The last two players, last two players to touch the ball will come back on defense. Now my team cheats, my team cheats. The outside players are always the last two because they run it. So the last two are usually the outside players, but the last two players to touch the ball. So who made the pass? You made the pass to the score, you're going to make the layup, make the layup, you're crashing in, get the rebound. You guys are going to sprint back on D. Now you're going to make an in pass. Good. Got him. Fill the lane. Go two. Good. Now three on two live. Good. Hold it there. You're going to go five man weave down. All five players touch the ball. And you've got to make a layup. Now we come back down three on two. We come back down three on two. It makes it live action. It makes them actually have to sprint. You're going to have to score a basket and sprint back. If I know I'm going against a team that likes to score and press, then I won't pull those kids back. I'll make them score and match up and press up. If we're going against a team that week that I know is going to drop back in zone, then I'm going to pull them right back. And you can adjust that accordingly. All right? So let's go. Instead of dropping back this time, the last two players. Should be the outside guys because you guys are going to do it a little quicker this time. You guys are going to stay up. I want you to match up on somebody. So last two guys to touch the ball. Whoever makes the pass, whoever scores, you're now going to match up and play defense. Let's pick up full. Okay? Go. Good. Good. Make that layup. Beautiful. Back on. Good. Match up. Match up. Get it out. Excellent. There you go. Good. Push it up. Nice. Okay, now hold it there. Right there. Great. Stay right here. We get the shot. We're going to go five man down, we're going to pick up and press, now we come back three on two. So it's a live action drill. This is a little further along in practice, but it's a good thing. Defensive players, you just got the rebound, right? Defensive player got the rebound. The shooter, and I think this is a great, great change in it, the shooter is going to have to fall back. The two defensive players will now come out. Who is the shooter? You're going to draw, you took the shot, right? So now you're going to have to drop back, and now we're going to go two on one back down this way. Okay, make the pass. Good, let's attack the rim. Spacing. 
Nice move. Uh, defense? Ooh, we're going to work on that. Come on back down. This makes these guys now, they're out of the play. They come back. They jog down the outside. And they are sprinting the floor. So they've sprinted the floor now a couple of times. Great way if you're looking to see how much gas they've got. As they start walking back, blow the whistle. Come on, guys. Why are we walking? Line them up. Let's go. Let's get running. And it's a great conditioner. All right? It's a great conditioner. Let's go one more time. Why don't we get you off the outside so you're not dying? Jump in out there. Okay, you're going to jump in on the outside. Good. All right? Okay, this time, fall back on D. We'll go live. Five-man weave. Three on two. Then whoever takes the shot, two defenders are going to go two on one back. Okay? Good. Nice. Make the layup. Back on D. Back on D. Let's go. Nice look, nice look. Good, get back on D. Go with him, go with him, coach. Go with him, coach. Let's go. You're outside. You were the last man to touch. There you go. Nice. Nice finish. Nice job. Nice job, fellas. Good work, good work, good work. Whole purpose there, thank you. The whole purpose there is to make it game like. I love to attack the rim. I hate walking the ball up the floor. If we can get the ball up the court as quick as possible, that drill really gets it going. And it gets everybody involved. You've got five kids playing at one time, then you've got five more coming on. You've got ten already involved in a matter of a minute. And then the next five will come out if you've got it. If you've only got 13, fine. Everybody's got to hustle back. Gets a little dicey once it goes below ten. We were down to about nine this year, and uh, I'm afraid this got crossed off the uh, schedule quite a few days. Because with nine players, this doesn't work. It just kills them. So you want to run this early when you've got the players and this is hey coach hope you like that video if you're looking for more videos just like that check out teachhoops.com up above or down below in the show notes i do not think you'll be disappointed one-on-one -on -one calls office hours you name it it's there for you learn from me let me help you become a better coach